Okay guys, I'm gonna do a little short video here today of how I fillet out my crappie. Um, I prefer to bring them home. I uh, ice them down and then bring them home. That way you're not cleaning them live. And I've got a nice cleaning table and stuff, so that's kind of the way I like to do it. But the uh, way I kind of do it, uh, I use an electric knife and I just kind of grab them like this and I start up here in this corner because there's a little bit of meat right up in here too and kind of get that started and uh, cut on down like that and then just follow that down flop her over of course that crappie's full of eggs Springtime crappie a lot of times will be. Now I, a lot of guys use the electric knife and go ahead and clean it off. And you can, and I do sometimes when I'm in a hurry. But I kind of like to use my manual knife on this part. I just, I don't know, I kind of like it better. Seems like I can get more meat, do a lot better job that way. Uh, just kind of go through and clean her off and then what I do and some people may not do this this may not be the way you do it or your grandpa does it or your dad's done it for years I just get rid of this rib cage I don't mess with there's not enough meat there to really mess with you can come in from the bot this bottom side and cut out what's actually there I just get rid of this some people don't I do you got a nice crappie fillet. You always want to take this fat off down here. Get all that off of there. And then you can go back when you're cleaning them. You can feel, make sure that there's not any bones, which usually there's never any bones. Uh, then I just take, I take and wash everything up good. Just because that's kind of the way I've always done it. Kind of keep everything washed up nice. And then just uh, put her in the bowl over there uh, the other side is about the same uh, when you're left or right handed one side's easier than the other but pretty much just do the same thing and I always just flip them around same deal you know, just simple to to get her down there and then just take and clean her, clean her off the skin. Like I said, I always try to keep the area clean. It's just the way I've always done it. The way I like to do it, keep things clean. Fish will taste a whole lot better that way. Just take and cut that, cut back behind there. Take and cut around the bottom there. And get rid of all that. Sometimes you'll have a little fat up here on top. You want to get rid of it that's where you'll get your fishy taste which crappie rarely ever have any fishy taste to them i've never had fishy taste in crappie i contribute that to clean up you know keeping everything nice and clean uh, but that's how i clean my crappie man got a few more here to do and gonna have a little fish fry here after a while thanks for watching Click and subscribe if you like my videos. I'm trying to get more videos out there. I don't have a whole lot right now, but I'm trying to get trying to make some more as I go crappie fishing and uh, make this channel, you know, a little better. Thanks for watching, guys. So I got a got a real nice uh, bowl of fillets there. I'm filleting all my crappie out. Should be a good fish fry.